What if our universe is shaped like a giant donut? I mean, it sounds crazy, but that's exactly the kind of question we're going to be talking about today as we, um, as we dive into cosmic topology. Hmm. You send over some fascinating articles about this. Yeah. Um, you know, exploring the shape of the universe. Yeah. Potential topological defects. And even some theories that go beyond what we currently understand about physics. Oh. So, yeah, get ready for a wild ride. It really is. It's a journey to the edge of what we know about the universe and the very nature of space and time. Okay, so first things first, what exactly is topology? I was here described as like the math of shapes. Yeah. But I'm still picturing like donuts and coffee mugs. Well, you're not wrong. I mean, topology is about the properties of shapes that stay the same even when you stretch, twist, or bend them. Okay, so it's about the essence of a shape, not like the specific details. Yeah, exactly. Like imagine you have a flat sheet of paper, you can roll it into a cylinder. Right. The shape changes, but it's still fundamentally the same piece of paper. Right. So like how a flat sheet of paper can be rolled into a cylinder. Yeah. The shape changes, but it's still fundamentally the same piece of paper. Exactly. Okay, I think I'm starting to get it. But how does this apply to the entire universe? I mean, that's a lot bigger than a donut. Oh, it, it is. It's a massive leap in scale, but the principles are surprisingly similar. So instead of donuts and coffee mugs, cosmologists are interested in the shape of space-time itself. Is it flat? Is it curved? Or is it something even weirder? Wait, are you saying that the entire universe could be curved like the surface of a giant sphere? And if so, how would we even know? Well, those are some of the big questions driving research in this field. And to answer them, astronomers are looking for clues in something called the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation, or CMB. Okay, I've heard of that. Yeah. That's like the afterglow of the Big Bang, right? Precisely. It gives us a snapshot of the early universe. Not like a baby picture of the universe. <laughs> exactly. Now imagine looking at that baby picture and seeing the same pattern repeated in different parts of the image. That could suggest that the universe is looping back on itself, just like seeing the same wallpaper pattern on opposite walls of a room. Oh, so finding those repeating patterns in the CMB could be like finding a cosmic fingerprint revealing the universe's true shape. Exactly. Wow, that's incredible. Okay, but the articles you sent also mentioned something called topological defects. What are those exactly? Okay, so imagine the fabric of space-time, but with imperfections woven in, topological defects are like cosmic threads or even vast walls that stretch across the universe. Oh, wow. So like cracks in the very fabric of the universe. In a way, yes. And these might have formed during the universe's earliest moment. Back when everything was incredibly hot and dense. Yeah, exactly. Like imagine the universe undergoing a rapid phase transition, like water freezing into ice. But instead of ice crystals forming, we're talking about distortions in the very structure of space-time itself. So these topological defects are like remnants of a cosmic freeze frozen into the universe's structure. That's a great way to put it. Okay, that is wild. But how do we know if they actually exist? Are they just theoretical ideas, or is there any way to find them? Well, that's the challenge. They're incredibly difficult to detect directly. But just like those repeating patterns in the CMB, they could leave behind subtle clues. Okay, so like what kind of clues? Uh, well, these clues might be hidden in the way galaxies are distributed or even in the polarization of light from distant sources. So these topological defects, if they exist, could be subtly shaping the universe we see today. It's a possibility. It's like a cosmic game of hide and seek with the universe holding all the clues. But I have a feeling we're just scratching the surface here. The outline you sent mentioned going beyond our current understanding of the universe. What does that even mean? Well, it means we need to be prepared to challenge our assumptions and explore realms that seem almost impossible to grasp. We need to be open to new ideas. I mean, you're not wrong. Think about it. dark matter and dark energy make up like 95% of the universe, but we barely understand them. What if the key to unlocking their secrets lies in a deeper understanding of cosmic topology? What if our current theories of physics are just too limited to fully grasp the true nature of space and time. That's what we're going to explore. Okay, my head is officially spinning. Yeah. This is already more mind-blowing than I ever expected. <laughs> I can't wait to dive deeper into these ideas and see what other possibilities are out there. Me too. Let's do it. Awesome. So before the break, we were talking about how our current understanding of the universe might be holding us back when it comes to these complex topological ideas. It's like we're trying to solve a cosmic puzzle, but we're missing half the pieces. That's a great analogy. And you know what? One of the articles actually pointed out right. that our most successful theory of gravity, Einstein's general relativity, might be part of the problem. Really? But it's been tested and confirmed so many times. Yeah, it works incredibly well on large scales. Yeah. But when we try to combine it with 
quantum mechanics, the rules that govern the microscopic world, things get a little messy. Oh, right, because those are the two big theories in physics, right? Yeah. And they don't always see eye to eye. Exactly. So are you saying our understanding of gravity might break down at these super tiny scales? And could that be why we're having trouble understanding things like dark matter and dark energy? Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. Imagine a universe where space-time itself isn't smooth and continuous, but it's constantly fluctuating at the quantum level. Well, okay. That's the realm of quantum gravity theories, like loop quantum gravity and string theory. They're trying to bridge that gap between general relativity and quantum mechanics. Oh, wow. That's a pretty monumental task. But if they succeed... Could it change how we think about the shape of the universe? Oh, absolutely. The very nature of space-time could be completely different than what we currently imagine. I mean, like, different how? It'd be like discovering that the ground beneath our feet isn't solid, but it's actually a constantly shifting sea of quantum foam. Okay, whoa. Yeah, my head is officially spinning. But are there any other ways we can push our understanding even further while we wait for those theories to, like, you know, come together? Absolutely. One really interesting area is extraspatial dimensions. Extra dimensions. Yeah. You know how we experience space in three dimensions? Up and down, left and right, forward and backward. Right. Well, some theories propose that there could be more dimensions curled up at scales so small that we can't perceive them directly. So you're saying there might be hidden dimensions tucked away within the fabric of space-time. Exactly. Like, imagine little, tiny, curled-up dimensions all over the place. It's like finding a secret passageway in an old house. It kind of is. But how could we even know if these extra dimensions exist? Right. If we can't see them, how do we know they're there? Well, they wouldn't be directly visible. But their presence could affect things we can observe, like they could affect the strength of gravity mm. or the behavior of particles in high energy experiments. Oh, so like the Large Hadron Collider. Exactly. Okay, so say these extra dimensions do exist, how would they impact the shape of the universe? Could they be connected to those topological defects we were talking about earlier? That's where things get really interesting. If these extra dimensions are real, it could completely change our understanding of the universe's topology. Okay, how so? It would be like discovering your house doesn't just have secret rooms, but entire wings that you never knew existed. Mm. And those topological defects, they might be coming from interactions within those hidden dimensions, creating structures that poke into our three-dimensional space. So it's like these extra dimensions could be the scaffolding on which the universe is built, and those topological defects are just glimpses of that underlying structure. Precisely. Wow. Okay, that's that's pretty mind-blowing. But what about dark matter and dark energy? Could they be connected to these extra dimensions too? That's a great question, and it's a question that's fueling a lot of research right now. Imagine a hidden sector of physics operating in those extra dimensions with its own particles and forces that we can't even see. Okay, I'm picturing it. And imagine those particles interacting with our world through gravity. That could be dark matter. And if the energy of this hidden sector is somehow causing the universe to expand faster, that could be dark energy. Okay, so we're talking about like invisible structures shaped by forces we don't fully understand, mm. made of a substance we can't even directly observe, all playing out in dimensions we can't see. It sounds like something out of a science fiction novel. It kind of does, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. But it's all tied to this idea of the universe's shape, right? Exactly. The topology of the universe could be the key to understanding these mysteries. It's like trying to figure out the layout of a city by looking at its shadows. The shadows don't tell the whole story, but they hint at a deeper structure that we can't quite see. Hmm. That's a great analogy. Yeah. But I have to ask, are we just fumbling around in the dark here? Or are there things we can actually do to shed more light on these mysteries? That's a really good point. Yeah. But we're not just fumbling around. We're developing new tools and techniques that let us see deeper into the universe than ever before. Like new telescopes. Oh, yeah. Like what? Like the Vera Rubin Observatory and the Square Kilometer Array. They're going to be able to map out billions of galaxies, giving us an amazing view of the large-scale structure of the universe. Oh, wow. So it's all about better data better observations. And that might finally let us see those subtle topological signatures we were talking about before. Right. It's like going from a blurry old photo to a super high definition image. Yeah. You can finally see all those tiny details. Exactly. And on the theoretical side, we need to keep developing more powerful computer simulations. So like simulating an entire universe with cosmic strings or domain walls. Yeah. And then we can compare those simulations to actual observations to see if they match up. It's like running an experiment in a computer. That's a great way to put it.
And, you know, I, it's hard to say for sure, no. but will we ever have a definitive answer about the shape of the universe? Or is this a mystery that's going to stay with us forever? I mean, I hope we figure it out someday. Yeah. But even if we don't, just the, the search itself is pretty amazing. I agree. It's one of the most profound and exciting scientific endeavors of our time. And I think as we delve deeper, we're going to uncover some incredible truths about reality that we can't even begin to imagine right now. Well said. I am definitely ready for those mind-blowing discoveries. <sighs> Let's keep exploring. Let's do it. So we've been talking about all these incredible ideas about cosmic topology, space-time, and the shape of the universe. But where do we go from here? What's next for this field? Well, one of the things that really stood out to me in these articles is the connection between different areas of science. Like, discoveries in particle physics could actually tell us something about the shape of the universe. Okay, so how could something happening in a lab here on Earth tell us about the universe on a cosmic scale? Well, imagine if one of those next-generation particle colliders, like the future circular collider, finds some new particles. Mm. And these particles are part of that hidden sector of physics we talked about. Now, if that hidden sector has its own forces and symmetries, and those symmetries were somehow broken in the early universe, well, it could have created those topological defects. Oh, wow, like those cosmic threads and walls. Exactly. So a discovery in a lab here on Earth could actually give us clues about events that happened billions of years ago, events that shaped the entire universe. That's amazing. It really shows how everything is connected. But it's not just particle physics, mm -hmm. right? We were talking about quantum gravity before the break and how that could also revolutionize our understanding of cosmic topology. Yeah, quantum gravity is all about trying to unify those two big theories in physics, quantum mechanics and general relativity. Right, because right now they don't really fit together. Yeah, it's like trying to solve a puzzle where some of the pieces just don't belong. Exactly. But if we can figure out how to merge these two theories, could it change how we think about space-time itself? Absolutely. Imagine a theory that allows space-time to fluctuate at the quantum level. It could allow for something called topology change, where the very shape of the universe transforms over time. Well, wait, so the universe could be like a chameleon changing its shape throughout history. It's a mind-blowing idea. And while it's still very speculative, some physicists are taking it seriously. And if those kinds of processes were happening in the early universe, they could have left behind traces that we might be able to detect today. So we're like cosmic detectives searching for clues to the universe's past. That's a great way to put it. And the more we learn, the more we realize how interconnected everything is. A discovery in one area of science can have a huge impact on other fields, and it can lead to some really amazing breakthroughs. It's incredible to think about all the exciting discoveries that are being made right now. It feels like we're on the cusp of a golden age in cosmology. I completely agree. And as we continue to gather more data, develop new theories, and push the boundaries of what we know, who knows what we'll find, the quest to understand the shape of the universe is a journey into the unknown. And along the way, we're going to encounter wonders that will challenge us and change how we view the cosmos. Maybe we'll finally figure out if the universe is shaped like a giant donut. Maybe. But even if we don't, the journey itself is just as important as the destination. We've learned so much about topology space-time and the interconnectedness of everything. It's been an incredible experience. It has, and I think it's important to remember that there's always more to learn. The universe is full of mysteries waiting to be uncovered. Well said. And on that note, we've come to the end of our deep dive into the amazing world of cosmic topology. I hope you've enjoyed exploring these mind-bending ideas with us. Keep looking up and never stop being curious about the universe and our place in it.